Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Janice. I'm a Family Mix Consultant. Today I thought I would demonstrate um, a quick pickle using the cutter attachment. Um, so I'm going to press start cooking. Um, the first thing they want us to do is to make the pickling brine. Now you can use the pickling brine either cold or hot. So I've already made my pickling brine because if you pour hot or the difference between pouring hot vinegar and cold vinegar over your pickle is how crisp it is. So if you pour a cold vinegar over the vegetables, you're going to get a crisper pickle. So right here, that made sense, right here. So 150 grams of apple cider vinegar, 60 grams of caster sugar, 150 grams of water. We're gonna pop the simmering basket on instead of the measuring cup. And then it cook, cooks for three minutes at 100 degrees on speed two. And yeah. So now we're gonna pour the pickling solution into a jug. Now I'm gonna pour some of this into the jug. This is the container I'm going to put it into. So I'll just take some of the pickle, the, this out of here and I'll put it into the jug. I'll leave a bit in the bottom and that'll just help with the air bubbles after, right here. So next, um, so we clean and dry the mixing bowl. So my mixing bowl is already clean and dry. Okay, next, right here. So we don't need the lid. So we're gonna pop the shaft in. So it just goes in, oh hang on, it just sits in there over the blade. There's only one way for it to go. I mean, you can't put it the other way. It doesn't, it doesn't stay there. It actually just sits in there. So with the cutter, uh, with the cutter, you shouldn't never go over speed four. And on here somewhere it says, oh, there it is. It says on the limb, so. And it's the same with the butterfly. You shouldn't um, go over speed four with the butterfly in, attached. So we're gonna pop that in. So, and then we want the slicing blade. So this is the slicing side. You can see there it's side one and you can see slices. If we turn it over to speed two, hang on, let me get that light off there. There, so there's the grating and it's side two. Right again, so we're gonna have um, the slate side, the slate slice where it's gonna go up. I need a little step stool. Okay. And then we're gonna put the lid on. goes on like that okay next so we're gonna do um, it says we're gonna start off with turn selected to thick which is here so you can choose thin or thick so we, we go to thick and then we're gonna pop the cucumber in you that this is a thick slice hang on wait we've got to wait for the arms to release don't we okay so that's our thick cucumber i have that's only half a cucumber i've got another half there well i'll just see how much fits in the in the dish if i can get um if i can fit more in at the end then i'll slice the rest right here so then next, um, so now we're going to do the radishes. I don't know if these are, no. so it said five radishes, but I've got four really large ones and a small one. Oops, we'll turn that around. Okay. Okay, now they want this to be thin. So we're going to.
show you this is our oh sorry this is our thinly sliced radish Is some red onion so we're gonna the red onion goes in here it's a bit big maybe it can go that way okay next and we're going to do thin for the red onion too transfer all um, the sliced vegetables into a sterilized jar or container. I'll just show you. This is our thinly sliced, oh hang on, look like it. This is our thinly sliced onion. scrape the rest of that out but I will whoops okay push that down under the okay. now um, so it says pour over the pre-made um, pickling liquid and then Press the sliced veggie down at the back of a spoon and then it says to remove the shaft of the cutter. Now that's really important um, that you remember to remove your shaft um, because your bowl's still clean um, and we don't want to chop the, the shaft up. Next, and then we're going to set that aside. So I'm going to put that in the fridge. That will last let me see it lasts like a month or something um, um, seal pickles will keep in the fridge for up to a month so that will keep for a month if if it lasts that long i actually haven't tried that out yet mine have never lasted a month Rightio. so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um, if you'd like to know anything else um, leave me a message leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, if you could like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.